Okay, I'll be totally honest with you. I never really pay too much attention to Technifiber records. To be honest, with all the, the options in the market, I just sort of glanced over them. Some people liked them, but I was like, there's so many other records I would try before Technifiber that I really never played with. But now they literally have the number one player in the world, male and female, at the same time. So clearly they're up to something good. So Technifiber sent me the 2022 TFI ISO 305 for me to test out. I've been playing with this record for a couple of weeks now and I have a lot of thoughts on it, which I'll cover them in a second. So my goal with this video is to try to answer the question, should you consider this new t fight over all the other stuff that's out there in the market? And the answer might surprise you. If you are new to My Tennis HQ, we do tennis lessons, racket reviews, practices with pro players, and tennis content you won't find anywhere else. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button. All right, so right off the gate, I want to say this is one of the most interesting rackets I've played with in a long time. It plays in such a unique way that I have to backtrack a little bit and give you some context on my preference when it comes to rackets. You see, I've always played with heavier rackets because they kind of fit my game a little bit better. I like to absorb pace, uh, my back end is pretty flat, so having a racket with a little more plow through helps. Um, it also helps with the serve and volleys, and just I like the stability of heavier rackets. Now, a lighter racket tends to help me with, on my forehand side, where I can get a little more racket speed, be a little more whippy, but I didn't really like the trade-off. Like, it would only help me really on my forehand. I felt like I had to make too many adjustments uh, on the in the rest of my game. But then I tried this new T-Fight. Now I'm not gonna go over specs, so you guys can look that online. I'll leave a link down below for Tennis Warehouse. Also, if you pick up one, use our link below, it helps us. But literally the first time I played with this racket was during point play. It got strong and got, it was given to me as we were about to start points. I was like, well, I guess we're playing points with it. And I literally didn't have to make one adjustment. I just went out and played and swung the way I always swing and it just worked. And I'll be honest, I was a little confused because it's such a different setup than my, my V-Core 95 setup. I was like, how is it that I'm not having to make any adjustments? And then I figured out why. While the T-Fight is a fairly light racket, its weight distribution is more towards the head, which means it's very stable at contact. But at the same time, it is incredibly maneuverable and easy to swing through the air because of the lightweight. So this formula of lightweight and stability makes it for such a unique experience. This may sound kind of weird, but when I play with this Technifiber, I feel like I can be so creative with my shot selection. For example, I can, I can play flat and through the court the way I like to play, the, the way I usually uh, enjoy playing tennis, but at the same time I can mix in some awkward shots, like some whippy angles and high heavy balls and still feel like I can I can play, especially on my forehand side, like whippy balls, like accelerating a lot, but also like just kind of plow through them as well if I need it. And now after actually playing with this racket, um, yeah, it makes a lot of sense uh, why Medvedev plays with this racket because he is a very highly creative guy playing awkward shots and utilizing the entire court. And with this racket, um, that's what I, experience. So as you can tell, I really like how quirky and unique this racket is. Now, is it for everybody? Probably not, but for me, in my experience, you know, testing rackets, this was a very pleasant surprise. It was way different than everything that I've been used to, really, or that I've hit with uh, in the past few months. But now let me go over some of the more normal attributes that you guys want to know about. I think the T-Fight is perfectly balanced in this category. Uh, what I found is that when I go for my shots, when I swing fast, especially on my forehand side, I was getting a lot a lot of pop, a lot of power, ball was moving through the court really well. But in all the situations where I felt I needed a bit more control, um, it performed great on my backhand side. If I wanted to play just a little bunt flat back, I was able to do so. On the forehand side, I was able to play around with the shapes to keep the ball in place. So I never felt like the, the ball was either too slow off the face of the racket that I had to swing too fast, especially with the lightweight, nor I felt like I had to like pull back a little bit because I had too much power. When it comes to spin, you can create a 
ton of top spin with this racket. It's a weird string pattern, 1819. It's the first time I've played with this string pattern as far as I know. And but it just works. Uh, it has a good good amount of access to spin. It's easy to swing through the air, so that probably helps uh, with the production of spin. And overall, again, I just found to be like a, just a good blend. If I need to play flat, I'm gonna play flat, but naturally the racket gives me a good amount of top spin. So if I wanna play a little bit more through the court, I can trust that I'm gonna get at least some rotation off the face. Honestly, this is the category that this racket absolutely shines. It is without a doubt the most maneuverable racket I've played with. Like, it's kind of crazy how quickly you can swing through the air, but feel, again, the stability um, off the face of the racket at contact. Like I said earlier, this racket allows me to be so creative with my shot selections. I can take the balls early. I can play with a lot of spin. I can just play it flat. I can do many things from many positions on the court with this racket and really trust it. One aspect I found very notable was how good it feels on, on the run shots, on more defensive shots. Now, again, I prefer, I always prefer the heavier rackets for those situations because the racket tends to do a little bit more of the work, right? Like, you have that stability, that, that racket just plows through the air a little bit easier. But because this racket is both stable and light, I was able to actually like kind of swing pretty quickly through those contacts, even uh, on the stretch, on the run, and create like, you know, powerful shots and angles. Uh, from all around the court really. So if you're looking for something very maneuverable, this could be a good option for you to try out. Feel is obviously something hard to explain, so definitely demo a racket uh, before you make a purchase. But overall, this is a very comfortable racket. Uh, it's not too muted at contact. I, I don't like comfortable rackets that you just don't feel where you're hitting on your strings. You're gonna know where you're hitting on your strings, but even miss hits are not gonna feel uncomfortable. Just overall very easy on the arm racket. Like you can just kind of play around even when I'm teaching lessons, just sort of like playing slowly with it and it just feels nice and comfortable and like I can play with it for hours. So um, if you have arm problems, things like that, this is a good option for you. Um, but of course, uh, make sure you demo before you buy them. All right, by now you're probably thinking that this video is just a tea fight love fest and that I there have no complaints about it, but uh, there are some certain things that I don't love. The lack of weight isn't ideal for volley. Now it's not awful, it, it performs perfectly fine there, but for my liking, I'd rather have a, a, a heavier racket. I could definitely feel, you know, like I didn't have much help, especially on, on harder shots when dealing with harder passing shots. I also found it okay to serve. Again, this is, a lot of this is personal preference and I've been used to, to heavier rackets, but again, the, the lack of weight for serving, I found it to be just a little harder to plow through. Like I had to almost swing too fast, a little bit outside of my comfort zone to get the, the, the speed. I'm more of like a you know good contact, good tempo kind of server. I don't have, I really have like super fast. Uh, arm, so I need a little bit of weight to help me. It was definitely not bad. I want to make sure I'm saying that I get pretty, a good amount of pop, I get a lot of spin on, on kick serves, um, but I definitely felt like I had to put in a bit more effort into the serves, and that led to making a few more, more errors that I was used to. So a bit of weight for me would probably help. And the last couple of things, it's more personal preference. Number one is I don't love the grip that it comes with. It's like that, those cushy, hard to like get a feel for the, your grip uh, when it's in your hands. So definitely put a leather grip if you get this racket. It's, it feels a lot like the head racket. So if you play with head rackets, it's kind of the same thing. And personally, I don't particularly love the paint job. Now it's a pretty racket. Like it's nice and white and it looks cool in your hand. But when you're playing, especially when I see myself playing with it, like there's something about white rackets that I don't love. There's just something with white rackets that a lot of players actually don't like. Novak doesn't doesn't like uh, white rackets. He made the head make his speed black again. So there's something about it's visual. It's the way they're swinging through the air in front of you. It's hard to explain, uh, but I particularly would much rather have you know a, a black racket than a white racket. Uh, but again, personal preference, if you like it, if you like the way it looks, I don't think it matters. Honestly, for me, it doesn't really matter how it looks. You just play it really well, um, but I'd rather it be black. Now, should you buy this racket? Well, that's personal preference, right? Like everyone has a different taste, um, but this is 
a very unique frame and I, I, that's how I can summarize it. It's different, it's different than a, most rackets that I've tried recently, but it is different in a good way. Now, it's not gonna suit every player. I do think you need to be a little bit more advanced to play with it because um, you're not getting like just easy power, this big sweet, sweet spot. Um, it is a racket for players a little bit more advanced with better techniques that can swing through, that like to swing through the air fast. If you already have like good racket speed, I think this is a great racket for you. Thank you for more on the beginner side. I think there, there would be better options out there uh, in the market, but I definitely think it's worth trying it out for, for a lot of players that might be like, what do I get now? Like we just keep bouncing around between blades and heads and Yonix. And I think people get stuck in those, those usually three brands. But this is a record worth venturing out, worth trying uh, to see if it's going to suit your game. And to answer the question in the beginning of the video, is Technic Fiber up to something now? Are they you know, making quality products? I think they are. I think they, they sort of figure out a good formula for them. This new T5, they, they created a product that is very compelling. It might be a bit niche, not for everybody, but it's a very good racket worth trying it out and I think you should. And if you do, again, remember, pick up, pick it up. We're using the links down below. Um, it really helps us if you use our tennis warehouse link. Uh, we truly appreciate that. And will I keep playing with it? Probably. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna fully switch, uh, but I definitely wanna add a little bit of weight to it and kind of play around with the racket first. I do think, I like it the way it is stock, but I think for my game, I would need to customize it just a tiny bit, make it a bit heavier, leather grip for sure. Um, and then see how, how it performs then. Uh, maybe I'll make a, a follow-up video on that. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see that. But overall, great job, Technet Fiber. Thanks for sending this out. Uh, if you're gonna pick one up, link down below to use it. Uh, it helps the channel, we truly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.